Hello, this is Peter Entersel with the third episode in the simple PHP login tutorial. So last time we created um, the database for our system and um, we successfully were able to log into it. For the password we use MD5. We saved the MD5 hash result in our database. So in this episode I'm going to actually completely remove that feature um, and we're going to replace it with a more secure way of um, storing passwords in a database. But first I want to show you something I changed slightly in the code. It's not a big thing but um, on line 4 of index.php um, last time we just had if then post username I added is set. I forgot to do that in the tutorial, um, but some people were saying that they're getting a warning without the is set. So just to get rid of the warning, we've added is set. So this is just making sure that um, this actually exists before we run the if statement. Otherwise, um, it's just better to check that this exists first basically um, so that will get rid of the warning um, another thing I want to just quickly go over is um, in the database um, in the members table in our tutorials database um, we have um, all these I think there's seven yeah seven um, actual fields in our table. So we also made one called ran salt. We're not going to use this anymore. Um, I decided to change the way I was going to um, store the passwords and um, this way is better than the way I was going to do it originally. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on structure and then for run salt we're going to drop it and then we have to confirm click OK we now only have these six um, fields in our table so back to the um, lesson today we're going to I'm just first going to show you this um, piece of code that I wrote uh, you don't need to write this down although I'm going to be putting this on my website so you can run it and um, test it for your for, uh, for testing purposes okay so we're going to be using something called password hash which um, only exists in PHP 5.5 and above um, I installed the latest version of XAMPP today um, because I was using an oldish version before so I updated to make sure I had the latest version um, and password hash will only work on PHP 5.5 and above um, although if you do need to run um, this on a different server that doesn't have uh, password hash uh, because it's running PHP 3 or 4 for example you can use this um, library that someone created on github I'm going to put a link to that in this tutorial in the description of the video. Um, I've used this myself actually and it worked very well so just follow these instructions I think all you have to do is basically include it in um, your file and just you know include the the file that you need and then you should be able to use the functions. Okay so going back to what we're doing today the password hash is what we're going to use to hash the password and then store it in the database. So we're not actually going to use this today. We'll use this in the next video where I'm going to be creating a registration form. So to save it in the database, we're actually going to hash it and store that in. But today um, we're going to be using the password verify function and I mean we are going to use the password hash today just to generate it and then I'm going to copy and paste the output into the, the table um, for testing but all we're going to do 
is we're going to get the code from last time and then we're going to just add the password verify instead of the MD5 um, system that we have in place. So I'm just going to go over to the code that we had from last time and on line 15 where I'm using the MD5 function I'm just going to delete this line completely and then I'm going to go down to this if statement here where I'm checking if the username and password was correct and all I need to do is type password underscore verify um, open a curly um, parenthesis and then close the parenthesis off there and instead of um, checking whether they're equal we just remove that and put a comma because these are two parameters in this password verify function so what this is going to do is it's going to check the password that we've entered so as we did earlier we got the password that they posted and we're using strip tags like I said we don't actually need strip tags but I'm just going to leave it in um, then we're going to use MySQL real escape string to escape any unwanted characters so the password will still be pure text but if there's been any um, say semicolons or anything like that they're going to get escaped in this so it's going to be still pure text and we're then checking it against the database password value so that's going to be a hash that we're going to generate and save in the database so it's going to get that from the database um, that bcrypt hashed password and um, it's going to check whether it's actually the same and then in this will return true if it is so then we're saying if the username equals the database username which should be true if um, they've typed the right username in and this says and if this is true so if both of these um, operands are true then we will set the session and take them to the user.php page otherwise we'll say that the password and username combination was incorrect and try again okay so quickly going back to the test script that I made just to show you what's going on I'm just going to quickly mention um, this array cost that I've got here so I created this variable called options and I put it in there so really all I need for this is um, just that array so the third parameter takes this associative array um, and we only have one value in at the moment and we're not going to be adding any more but the only um, value we need today is the cost and we're giving it a value of 12 so what the cost is is basically a way of um, making the bcrypt um, function slower so the higher this is the slower this will actually take to compute so the reason this is helpful is because um, if someone was trying to crack passwords using the bcrypt algorithm um, you want it to take a while because um, then it'll be a lot harder to actually um, generate a password and try and crack it so you want to have this as high as possible that doesn't impact the page too much so what I mean is you don't want it to you want it to be quite a long time but when I say a long time I mean like half a second at the most really so then it doesn't have to be too long that the user is waiting on the page for it to load but also high enough for it 
to um, take quite a long time um, compared to something like MD5, which um, thousands, if not possibly more than that, could be done in a second, whereas, say, two B crits could be done in one second. It's quite long and hard to explain, but um, if you want to have more of an in-depth look into this, you can go on the php.net um, documentation and have them read through it. And so you can see all the options it takes if you go on through onto this link here. And there's some examples as well. Okay, so if I'm going to run this now in the browser. And you'll see if I refresh this page, every time we get a different value for the bcrypt output. So um, unlike MD5, where you get the same for each individual string with bcrypt, you're going to get a completely different output every time for the same password. Now, this is good because um, if someone did manage to hack into our database and they get all the passwords and everything, um, even if a user uses the same password as another user, um, the hacker wouldn't know because the password to them looks completely different. It just makes it a little bit more secure. Um, so the next part, we're verifying that the password is equal to, to the hash that we generated. And if it is, it's going to say that the password is valid. Otherwise, it's going to say it's invalid. And so in this test case, it does actually return that the password is valid. OK, so I'm just going to copy this bcrypt output um, that I got from the test. And in the next tutorial, when we create the registration page, um, we'll be inputting this data into the database when they create their password anyway, so we won't need to do this for much longer. So I'm going to go to PHP my admin. So I'm going to go to my um, only user and I'm going to change the password from what it is currently, which is the MD5 for password. I'm going to change it to the bcrypt output that we got. So it's now saved it. And now if we log into this page with our details we have already created. So Peter and password. It logs us in just as it did before. So I'm just going to log out again. That's it for this um, tutorial. As I said, um, the bcrypt system we're using is quite hard to explain um, but basically it's the best way to save a password in a database at the moment as I say um, everything in programming changes quite quickly so maybe in a six months to a year's time this may not be the recommended way anymore at least for now, this is the best way to store a password. I think that's everything now for this particular tutorial. As I said, I'm going to put this um, script on my website as well, so you can have a look at that. Um, I'm just going to undo this here and put the options variable back. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to do the registration page. Um, so that might be a bit quite a long tutorial if it gets a bit too long I might split it up into two I don't want these tutorials going on for too long like the last one went on for half an hour I'm going to try to keep them a lot shorter than that in the future as always I'm going to put all my code that I create on my website you'll find the link to the page on my website under um, the video in the description and I'll also put a link to um, both the PHP documentation for the password hash function and this um, password compact um, 
to add compatibility to older versions of PHP, although it has to be at least PHP 5.3.7. Um, but if anyone has any problems using this, if they do need to use an older version of PHP, let me know and I'll see if I can help out. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video.